Hello there, my beautiful friends. Um, of course, I also will not forget the fuselage itself. Um, this one has been uh, used for, I think, five times. Um, and I will just quickly do the waxing and the uh, masking of the edges. Um, because this fuselage will be uh, coated in just one color, there will be no uh, masking on the fuselage mold itself on the, on the inner side of the mold. So this will be quite boring just for you to see how it goes. Prior to this I cleaned the mold from the last uh, from the last uh, building. And as you can see, this is not an acrylic mold. This mold is uh, built from a positive because you cannot mill these intricate details here um, without big issues. So that's why the fuselage mold normally is a, is a, a positive mold from the mill. So this fuselage, fuselage, wow, difficult word, um, has a, a cool feature. In, in F3F, we need to change ballast very quickly. Uh, and this fuselage, fuselage is built in such a way that you have um, completely uh, center of gravity neutral ballast tube inside the fuselage where you can use the, the same ballast as you use in the wings. And this way the handling is very easy, um, even in a very uh, stressful and hectic uh, competition situations. Don't have to care about the center of gravity. You just put something in or take something out and that's it. So as you see again the first stage of polishing. See in these small creases there will always be some wax left. Be sure to wipe it all out, otherwise you will see it in the finished model. Well, and as an F3F pilot, um, I'm not a big fan of looks. I'm more a fan of function, um, that's why I'm polishing um, not everything in, in a circular motion, but very practically in a lengthy way. I don't care about a few scratches on, on the fuselage, on the scratches, that they are mostly only optical. Um, don't even feel them, but you can see them if you really want to. As you can see, this fuselage will be um, built by a pressure technique with a bladder or a balloon inside. Um, this will be a fun video to shoot, I am sure. Okay, so that's it for the wax. And because 
I do not mask the mold itself on the inside, I only mask the outside and it's properly used already. Um, I will not wait um, until the wax is hardened. These surfaces won't have contact anyway. Because the mold um, is built in a way that these uh, surfaces are um, going downward. And there's uh, again only a small three millimeter uh, space where the molds actually touches, t touch each other. And this one will be completely um, in visible carbon. Never done that before. I always did black. I'm going a bit fancy now. Because why not? Well, because of reasons. Ready. <coughs> Not a second. You can see there are still bolts in the mold. They are glued in. Um, well, some of them are. But that doesn't matter. In a normal workshop situation, I would have music uh, in the background now. Normally Foo Fighters, and I'm very sad to hear about the death of Taylor Hawkins. But life goes The show must go on. See, I just um, cover the bolt with tape two so that it doesn't get dirty. Okay, so that's about it. Now all parts of the model are masked and protected and are ready for coating, um, including this little fella, which is um, the um, bottom part of the tail cover. Also made from acrylic, just covered in tape and I will spray the inside with um, the coating too. If you miss that while coating, you're having a bad time because you uh, have to prepare everything <laughs> uh, and even mix some paint for this little for this little fella. Don't forget it. Um, and of course, uh, you don't have to paint um, the joiners, the tail joiner. Um, and the actual joiner, which I will uh, go into in a, in a separate episode. You, o you only have to apply the parting agent. So, and that's it. Um, I will see you in the coating episode, I think. Please like, subscribe, so that I can put out 
more quality content, not content like this. <laughs> okay, see you.